And welcome back to part two of our walkthrough of the Cleveland Metro Parks Zoo. We don't end up showing everything that we see while we're here, but we show the inter interesting stuff and the cool stuff, and hopefully it gives you an interest for coming yourself. Meanwhile, let's see what else we've got ahead of us. Speaking of that rhino reserve, here it is. Let's get up top and see what we find. All right, this whole big rhino yard. We've got one guy laying against the wall over here. Not much of an angle. Maybe if I go over there, I can see him. Well, I'll be able to see him closer. All right, moment of truth. Is he visible from right here? Oh yeah, okay, I thought the wall might, might have could have blocked it, but I suppose that's a good design to not allow it to block. If you woke up, man, you'd be right there. We'd have you, and we can see the tips of both of your horns there. But for some reason, uh, this stairwell right here is blocked off. I'm not sure what you can only see up there. Maybe it's because there isn't anything in there. But anyway, because you couldn't see anything from down here. There was nothing inside, so whatever. Wow, and I can honestly say I've never seen you know, one of these bronze statue things of the of the colobus. Makes his beard look so legit. Yeah, I would definitely say they're prepping for the Asian Lantern Festival. The pandas, that's Asian for sure. Between that stuff over there, and then this whole line over here. Like, yeah, they got, they got a lot of stuff they're prepping. I will say this bridge is a sight to behold, to walk from underneath. And they say that there's peregrine falcons that nest up in there, but I think that would be quite a sight if you actually saw it. All right, I don't know exactly where the tiger cubs are, but we're at the tiger passage. Moment of truth up here. Wow, that's a lot of area just for the... Wow, that's a lot. Let's see it. Well, we round the first turn, I can see someone laying over there just barely through it. Let's see if there's another angle. Okay, this is super cool. They can be up and over you, move from side to side, and they would be right along you over here. And the one that I just saw was in here and is still laying there, but not a lot of action taking place. It's just one, no cubs. Yeah, this place is definitely pretty cool. Okay, we can see the cubs, just barely. They're not moving right now. One's under there, and another one is just over here. See if we can get a better angle, though. So we got this big girl up here on the passage, I suppose you could say, and then one of the cubs right there in the corner, not moving. If you saw it next to an adult, you would tell how small. Not tiny, but, oh, but very small compared to a full-grown tiger. Oh, that's great. I gotta kind of, I gotta try to double back and see if they're ever on the move while we're over here. Because yeah, having one up and above right here is not the most uncool thing either. In fact, it's uh, pretty interesting indeed. We caught them in the afternoon. Maybe we wait till it got a little too warm. <laughs> I mean, really, like, it's literally like right above. And that's pretty, I mean, that's pretty interesting. Just, I mean, like, that's just like a graded walkway. <laughs> wow. I mean, it's not every day that you can say that a tiger is literally right above you when you're walking, so... Hey, that's, uh, that's pretty cool, I think. Now we got a potential stretch of bears. Let's see what we find in these bad boys. Oh, what? Oh, that's not bears at all. <laughs> that's uh, big old seals and sea lions. Which one? I can't tell. They're literally like all underwater right now. Wow. That's pretty cool. Seals and sea lions swimming around in there and they can be up on that stuff there. If only, if only we could go to the up top viewing. That would be pretty cool too, but that's okay. But we couldn't see down into that one when you're in your car for the cruise at the zoo. So that makes sense. I didn't know that was there. So that was unexpected. And on the rainy day that we were here, the bears were pacing, or at least one of them was. Now one of them's, well, it's not rainy, so it's not as cool. So he's laying down back there. It makes me think that someone's out up here because everybody's looking over the edge. What do we got? Oh yeah, he's right down there. Right down there. How about that? He's just playing or eating or... I think that's a pretty intense waterfall. I like that. I like that. All right, we might be losing him. He's walking away. I'm gonna see if I can see him over here. A lot of people are gathering over there. Oh yeah, I'll just come around the corner here. And catch him as I literally get stabbed in the head by the tree, but that's okay. Yeah, not as thick as I would expect. Yeah, look back here. I'm the only one looking at you now. Everyone else is on the other side of the rock. Oh well. Well, now they can probably see you from there. Oh well. 
You know, I do remember that polar bear thing because we were just trying to find any animals when we were cruising through. Maybe a little less seen is a couple polar bears back here. That'd make for a nice family picture or whatnot, but it's like back here by this, uh, by the Wilderness Trek trading post and like an access to outside or maybe that staff after you get into a certain area. But anyway, full disclosure, excited about what's coming up. I think the snow leopards are in play. I don't know there's actually a cub. That's what's on the ticket, but I haven't seen anything about a snow leopard cub, but still like, even if there's just multiple, this place is, it's large. I'm gonna pause and show you. Just this whole area that I think is all snow leopard territory, but maybe it's other things. I mean, okay, maybe not actually, as I look at the sign, maybe not, but still Asian stuff. Let's see. All right, so it says Amur leopard, Amur. I'm not really sure how to say that actually, right there and right there. And so you have this area here that goes and then it gets up into that boardwalk thing. And then this area that tucks into there and what the, it looks more like a snow leopard, I think. And the sun is bright in my eyes. It looks more like a snow leopard, I could be wrong. But maybe they let them cross. I, uh, I don't know. Okay, when you look from this side, I mean, it's still just the opposite of over there. But it specifically shows that it's the snow leopard in that area there so uh, I, I i don't know but that's a snow leopard the fact that there's an amur leopard right here makes me that much more confident of that so yeah a little cleaning going on there <laughs> just a eater that's just whatever some red panda territory and oh look oh missing him. there it is there it is one there and even one back there this is a really cool, like, wrapped around area here. Like, just because the snow leopards can go up there too, or that's maybe for the more leopard. And, uh, pretty neat. Ah, and the last of the Asian area is the Takin. And uh, it's hard to see these ones very close at the wilds, but there you go, right there, front and center. Or should I just say, just absolutely centered in the whole place. Well, even with all the noise and racket down there, the reindeer, well, I mean, he's, he's leaving, but he's out here <laughs> maybe they just started and he's getting away from it literally saying can i get back inside but but yeah at least it's still available out here to see all right now we're coming off up on the wolf woods and i actually saw it from the exit on the other side and i saw something that i completely forgot that i was wanting to find while we were here and it's good but we'll see when we get to the exit it's great wow that's a serious like harpy eagle asian lantern fest man this thing wow check out the wolves though. I think it's wolves and eagles. Maybe that's the harpy eagle. Got the wilderness feel to it. Okay, this is super cool coming in here. Wow, it is like a lodge. Okay, okay, that, I was not expecting that at all. That's, okay, that's, that's just cool. Okay, that's a sweet bench. I don't wanna say I want that, but I wouldn't mind it. Please be, please be sure the door closes behind you. Is there something in here that could get out? Hmm. Well, the beavers are definitely stuck inside. They wouldn't get out, but cool to see them that close. I like the lighting in there. Usually it's dark in these. Okay, there's birds flying around. That's why the door has to close. With an interesting tail for sure. It's like blue Oh, wow. See that guy? Oh, and a bald eagle. Big, oh, right? sweet. Sweet. Yeah, that's pretty cool. That's pretty neat that they're like loose and this guy's on the move. Multiple of them. Yeah, I hear you. Wow, what are those? He's just excited or not happy, but he is, look, they are, they are on the move. It's like a Blue Jay Zazu combo. And uh, yeah, there's some cool guys. Okay, and then you can kind of walk down here to see more of the stream appeal. Got some fish and stuff that you can see from down low. That's, that's really cool, really cool. As for the wolves, they're um, they're not very. Oh no! Actually, like literally, I did not plan that. Oh, you just run away. Oh, they're not very visible though. Maybe if I move, I can see him. Oh wait, you get across. Am I looking at the right spot? Okay, there he, there he is, there he is. Okay, well they they can hide. Oh look, there's one right there. They can definitely hide back there. This is far from flawless cinematography, but it's a pretty cool layout. Definitely a fan of this area. Just. Very cool. Up the lodge through the door back there and then all this, that's pretty cool. And then it truly is a shame that has to be so loud when we step outside these doors. 
Well, you know what? They kind of backed off. The sound isn't quite as... Check this out. When you come through here, that is, no, literally, dude, that's literally where I'm wanting to go. Just wanna see these guys here real quick. It is literally, as I work around the mulchers, it's literally Togo and Balto. Like, more to come on that. Okay, that could not have been more, I don't wanna say rudely interrupted, they're just doing their job, or disappointing, but that's literally what I was wanting to get there for. And then they're mulching around Togo and Balto. Like, th the story behind that, connected to the Cleveland Zoo, is a cool story that I don't even wanna tell the whole story on here. I almost wanna do a separate video completely on it, but Balto literally, long story short, Balto, the hero, and actually Togo, the controversy on that, the hero of the dog sled race in Alaska, save a little girl's life, movie on it, maybe not entirely accurate. Long story short, he lived out the rest of his life here at the Cleveland Metro Park Zoo. Lots that could be said about that. There may have been signage that said something about it, but guys were big machinery and mulch. Interesting story indeed. So from the African savanna, at least this lower part, we'll get up there eventually, but we're gonna circle around. It's, a, it's active feeding time there with Mr. Giraffe. And oh look, an ostrich hanging out down there. I think it's an ostrich and uh, yeah, wow. A giraffe land down like that is a little different. And Canada goose in Africa, which is in America. Well, you get it. And maybe the most impressive part of the cruise the zoo is I'm pretty sure that this was a path that you drove down. I I'm pretty sure, and it's pretty thin. Well, giraffe, that's not giraffe eggs, that's uh, ostrich eggs, as it were, not actual ones, but the giraffe is right here. Giraffe's a mammal, so they don't lay eggs, though there are two mammals that do lay eggs. Anybody know which ones those are? I don't know if we're gonna be able to see it from over there, because this stork guy is kind of behind the tree, but boy, that's a long beak on that guy. He just turned and you can't see it. There's a bunch of vultures up there, but the beak on that stork. Okay, well, I guess I was way off because you can see him from over here. A marabou stork, and it's not as long as I thought actually, but still, big old guy. And the storks and the vultures hanging out. And also here from this nice viewing porch is the Bontabok, which is a pretty cool guy. Look at those, look at those antlers. I think antlers, not horns. And, uh, or maybe they are horns. Oh, they're probably horns. Let's see if it says. Yeah, it does say horns. Yeah, that's a cool guy. I like it. And it looks like the zebra is going to finish us up on the African savanna portion here. Nice. Or at least it'll finish us up from the bottom side. There is still maybe some other things we can see from the other side. Oh, the flamingos. Oh, are they getting ready for the crossing? Oh man, I wonder. Ah oh, yes, an awesome carousel that we're not gonna take the time to go on today. Oh, and how cool is this? It's like a, a beaver's uh, lodge thing here. That's pretty cool. That's neat, and you can actually go up to it and climb in it looks like. That's neat. If it wasn't for the construction on the Eagle Zip Adventure, and we'd be able to see a little more on the Waterfowl Lake, but um, yeah, we're a little limited, but that's because uh, apparently new things are coming, so that's cool. And that will conclude our time at the Cleveland Metro Parks Zoo. Definitely a lot here. No, we didn't show everything, but showed a lot of interest. I hope what we showed was interesting and uh, definitely worth coming out and checking out some things. But anyway, all that being said, we've got a baby that is beginning to whimper, so we're gonna call it a day. Otherwise, we'll catch you next time on Escape to the Zoo.